What's up YouTube, Brian here, back again with another video. And today, we're doing something a little different. We are talking about rod storage, rod racks. So today, I'm gonna to talk about two things you can easily get off Amazon. And there's one that I like that might be a little unexpected. Uh, and we're gonna compare the two. Now, we're gonna talk specifically about rod racks. Now, I have a lot of rods. I take all the rods out of my boat uh, during the winter. I bring them in the house. I throw them on rod racks where I can, you know, kind of do my inventory and just kind of store them for the winter. Um, let's real quick. So the one right here is the Cast King. You, both of these you can purchase on Amazon. The Cast King rod rack is after coupon. It is about $65. But the one on the left is the one I really want to focus on and talk about because this is my favorite. So this is by a brand that I've literally never heard of called Oddspro. Terrible name, by the way. I don't know what the hell Oddspro uh, I don't know what Oddspro is, what it is, or what who they are, but it's definitely a uh, Chinesium company. Now, the positives about, about both these racks. The Cast King is $65. It holds uh, 12 on each side, so you got 24 rods and reels can go onto this thing. Now, I know that you're not going to fit 24 unless they all don't have reels. So reels are going to create a lot of room. Uh, constraints, the reels are going to touch each other, you got to kind of pivot and move them around. So you're not actually going to hold 24, but theoretically this thing holds 24. This guy holds 18. This guy is only 40 bucks. So this is $25 cheaper than the Cast King, holds slightly less rods and reels, but however, I like this rod rack better because of three things. Number one, it sits lower. So I have ceilings. And if you notice the height difference between the Casking and the Oddspro rack, the Oddspro rack is sitting way lower on the ground. It's about two inches lower than the Casking. So now when you have rods that are like 7.3, 7.4, longer rods, I like that it sits lower than the ground because it's not, the tips are not hitting the top of my, the, the tips aren't hitting the ceiling on the smaller Oddspro rack. Number two, as I love the little, it, the Oddspro has these, it's kind of a cool idea. It's these rubber pinchers. So when you when you put the rod in here, it pinches and snaps into place. So I really like this. It holds the rods really well. The Cast King, um, the rods lean into the grooves. So you don't need a holder like that. You know, the, the pinch point is down at the bottom. The rod is leaning into the rack. It's not going anywhere. Um, but I kind of like this system a little better. It's kind of interesting. It, it looks cool. Um, you can remove these if you don't want them. They slide out. The nice thing about both of these is they are completely hardware-less assembly. So both of these, you just snap the pieces into place. You don't need a screwdriver or to assemble it. They're both really, really easy to assemble. Um, you can put this guy, the Oddspro, you can literally put this thing together in like five minutes. It's really easy. Comes with really simple instructions. You snap the pieces together. Um, you slide the little thing in. You tighten down the you tighten down the screw. And well, actually, so it, they're not screws. It has a screw for sliding into the brackets, but you're literally just tightening this little thing right here. The screw slides down there, and then boom, you're. But you don't actually have to use any tools. Toolless is what I really meant. Is uh, you don't actually have to use any tools to assemble either of these. You can do it by hand. It comes with uh, really simple instructions, but. Anyway, the point is if you're looking at these and you're looking for some rod racks, they're both really lightweight. The Cast King's kind of bigger, badder, $25 more. Do I think it's worth spending $25 to get the Cast King rod rack? Absolutely not. I would rather have a bunch of the Oddspro racks. And actually, I'm going to probably sell this Cast King rack because I've been picking up more of these Oddspros. I think for 40 bucks, and you need a, a nice, clean, simple rod rack, I definitely suggest this guy. I don't have any affiliation with these companies. I'm just a consumer. Um, I've tried them both. This thing's fine. This is the winner. Sits low to the ground. Has really nice connectors um, and easy to assemble. Lightweight. Has a little smaller footprint than the Cast King. The Cast King is like taller, bigger, wider, but it does hold more rods. So anyway, you can make a decision. They're both good products. Do I think you need to spend an extra 25 bucks to get the Cast King? No, I'd rather have two of these um then two of these just because they take up less room and they sit lower the ground but anyway that's my quick review on some rod storage devices uh anyway uh if you watch this video thank you hit like subscribe uh i'm gonna try and do more reviews around stuff just random fishing gear storage that kind of stuff so uh until next time take it easy thank you for watching appreciate it peace out